a report came out that the Philadelphia Eagles owner, Jeffrey Lurie, wants Jalen Hurts to be the Eagles starting quarterback next year. He does not want a quarterback competition. And so the owner sent a message to his personnel department saying, hey, GM, coach, like I don't, I don't want to bring in a new quarterback. Jalen Hurts is our guy moving forward next year. I went, huh. I'm actually not sure I believe that. And I don't, look, I love Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts was one of my favorite quarterbacks in the draft last year. I think he's great. If I was Philadelphia, I would commit all the way to Jalen Hurts. I'm a big Jalen Hurts believer. But you have to ask yourself, why did this get out to the media? Why is this out there? Who? Why is this leaked out so everyone can talk about it and hear it? Somebody wanted this out there. And either it's a disgruntled Eagles employee who's angry that the owner is meddling in personnel decisions going, our meddling owner won't stay away. Or it's a smokescreen. There's a reason why this came out. And, and maybe it's Philadelphia trying to make Jalen Hurts feel good and puff up his chest and support him. But it's very possible the Eagles are actually trying to trick other franchises in the NFL draft. The Eagles have the number six overall pick. That's not, it's very reasonable to believe they might be able to pick a quarterback number six overall. So it's also very possible the Eagles put this information out there to mess with other teams, to keep them from trading up to draft another quarterback and steal the quarterback the Eagles want. The Falcons have the number four overall pick. They might trade down because they got a quarterback, Matt Ryan, they want. Number five overall, the Bengals have Joe Burrow. So there's two teams in front of the Eagles minimum that already have their quarterback. Maybe the Dolphins believe in Tua as well that are going to stick with their quarterback and uh, are willing to trade down. The Panthers and the Broncos tr- draft after the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the Broncos do not appear to be happy with Drew Locke. The Panthers have Teddy Bridgewater, but he's not their long-term franchise quarterback. And so the Eagles might be trying to give the Panthers, the Broncos, uh, maybe the Patriots, the Steelers, like whatever team might want to trade up ahead of them. The Eagles might have released that information to give other teams a false sense of security. Go, hey, we're not, we're not taking a quarterback. Then they're going to do it anyway. That way they can get the quarterback they want for themselves. They might be trying to trick other teams. So I love Jalen. Jalen Hurts, if he was on my team, he's my starting quarterback. As long as he doesn't have like Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, somebody like that on our team, right? Like for the most part, there's a lot of quarterbacks I would take Jalen Hurts over. And that's kind of crazy, but I love his leadership. I'm like, if I'm a coach, I can coach that up. I can work with him. He can get better. I would love to work with Jalen Hurts. But I don't know that Philadelphia feels that way. They want us to believe they feel that way, but I, I, I'm not sold. And we'll see. It's very possible. But I currently, I'm not sure I buy that Jalen Hurts is actually the starting quarterback moving forward of the Philadelphia Eagles. To me, it feels like it could be a smokescreen to trick other teams in the NFL draft.